Okay, part two, Aldi is done. I'm just waiting for Scarlett. She's just put my trolleys back. Oh, I've got two. Got some good stuff to get my backup pantry restocked. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm actually really hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I don't know what time is. Okay, here is a quick overview of my Aldi shopping I just did. Pretty big shop. Big. Uh, we got 10 seed on table on that. I bought two of these packs of mints. They're two kilos each. I'm going to do dog food with one and I want to yeah, use one of those for. I was going to say two meals, but I want to do a lasagna, so I might do a plus one and pop that in the freezer. Um, coming down this side of the table, I've got a bag of capsicums. They were three bucks, so that was really good. Uh, a few tomatoes just for the burgers. We don't generally go through that many tomatoes. So it's not worth buying any more than we need. And this was new at Aldi, the veal tortellini. They, these are really cheap. 625 grams and they're like $4. Really good side or, yeah, just add whatever with it. Good to have on hand. And I got some of the red hot dog franks for those buns that we got marked down from the spud shed. Do another quick easy dinner. Uh, I got the last pack of yogurts too, so that was cool. I always go there and they always run out. So I got those. And yeah, I got this whole split Portuguese style peri peri chicken. $5.20 was marked down to. These are so good. Bake it in the oven and yeah, chop it in four and have whatever with it. It's so good. And they had these Harvey Beef Angus Beef Burgers. There was four in here. And then all was $7.50 and they were down to $5.20. So I thought I'll buy them and we'll give them a go. We really love the Woolies ones. But we'll see if these are any good because, as you know, I do bulk of my shopping at Aldi, so I'd rather buy them from there if I can. Shortcut bacon, 10 bucks. I've got another pack of that because I've got cream and lots of eggs, so it's just a cheap, easy, you know, whatever. It can be breakfast for dinner or you can make a quiche or breakfast muffins. It's just, yeah, pretty endless what you can do. Got some green beans and a thickened cream. And that was actually marked down. I freeze it too, so um, yeah, I'll see see what I've got my menu first for. I'll pop it in there. Got two chooks for a roast, some cottage cheese, just some more of my light cheese slices that I love. A block of tasty cheese. I got two sour creams. We've got a little bit of the one left in the fridge that we got from Fudge the other way, it was really thick and yeah, it wasn't very nice. But you've got to try them, you know, when they're marked down, it can either be good or bad, so it is what it is. And these were new at Aldi too. I thought these would be good for the weekend. Blazing chicken wing nibbles. They look pretty good. So pop them in the freezer. And I got some real butter. I got a few dips. I got this. Rocket and almond pesto hummus, which sounds really good. And I've got this eggplant one here, which I'll just open and I'm just having a few little crackers with that. So that's really nice. We got some plain flour. We got two one kilos of those and we got two one kilos of the self raising flour as well. Castle sugar, just in case I decide to make a pavlova. With some of these eggs we've got, we really need to because yeah, there's a lot of eggs. Oh, what else we got? Some wafers, these are like 50 cents a packet. We've got the chocolate ones. We bought chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, and I reckon chocolate were definitely the best. The ones are a bit sickening. Frozen bag of mixed veggies. I don't think I showed you that yet. That's going to go in with the mix for the dogs. Um, I've got some lasagna sheets, two boxes of those, and I had to stock up on pasta because I'm really low on it and I want to have some in my backup pantry as well. Um, so I ended up getting 
Two spirals, two penne, two bow ties, and two fettuccine. I wish I thought I got spaghetti as well, but I must not. Hmm, that one's not good. And I got two boxes of the eating crackers. These are just like Jats. If you haven't tried them, I'm actually really impressed with those. You wouldn't know the difference. Bakehouse wraps, we've got two. Eight pack, two large ones, and I'm pretty sure there's eight in the pack. Yeah, they'll be for burritos. And the morning break, these are like a low calorie um, snack. 110 calories per serve. There's two little biscuits in, not one serve. Uh, chocolate, I always buy, they're really good. Hubby's been enjoying them for work. And I thought we'd get the strawberry ones too. Mm -hmm. See if you like those ones. Still got lots of bananas in the freezer. I actually want to make some banana bread and freeze it up. I'm just out of muffins now. So that will keep everything going for lunches. I picked up some more of these packs that you would use for soups and stews and stuff like that. Last time I did my shop, I got a lentils one. They're like the orange sort of colored lentils. And this fortnight I got the pearl barley, the soup mix, which has got all the little different bits in it. And then the green split peas. So that'll be beautiful for pea and ham soup. Um, I've got a washing liquid. I love that stuff. I was gonna get two I thought, no, I just, yeah, it's buying quite a lot, so one will see me through for that amount of time. That can be something I can stock up on next time. And I thought I'd give their olive oil a go. I'm really fussy with olive oil, to be honest. Um, haven't really been a fan before of Aldi's oils, but this says mild, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's nice. And I've got some corn kernels in the can so I'm gonna yeah that'll be some all the cans and the jars I bought like a few so yeah I can get my stock pantry going. I've got eight cans of tomatoes in there as well. I've got some breadcrumbs. I'm going to be doing scotch eggs again to use up some of the eggs and um, chicken parmigianas as well. So I've got two and I know you can make your own. 89 cents a pack. So yeah, they're really good. I've uh, got some passata. Um, got, yeah, I want to do some pasta dishes and I'm going to be doing a lasagna. So I thought I'd grab some of that as well. I've got two things of tomato paste. We've got some pizza sort of things on the menu. I've got four pasta sauce. They're just the basic ones. They're only $1.40 each. The other ones were $1.70 each. I add a lot of my own ingredients to them anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's just basic, you know. I've got two tins of black beans in the back there. I've got a couple of tins of lentils. They're really good for bulking up spag bogs and that. My lot all love them, no one complains about it at all. And I've got the last four tins of chickpeas. Look how nice these cans look. They look a bit fancy. And I've got some more pineapple for the pizzas, obviously. And picked up some more salsa. These are what I use for the burritos. And then I bought a whole grain mustard. There's a beautiful dressing. I love making that. And then they had these mustards were 99 cents. So I got a mild English and a sriracha mustard. I thought hubby might like to try that. And those lunch meats that I got in that. And I've got some natural almond spread. So that, that should be good, not yeah, full of sugar like the other ones you can get, like the one I normally get. <laughs> um, a couple of bags, bin bags, packs of bin bags rather. And I've got some almonds. They were about $4 I want to say for 250 grams, which isn't too bad. And I've got some of these fruit bake bars. They're gonna go in my little stash when I feel like something sweet. I've got the forest fruit flavour and apple flavour, so they're nice. And I also got some more Pista crackers. We love these with just cheese and Vegemite. And I've got some more bicarb. I've got a cucumber. I've got some napkins. These are like a dollar eighty for these 200 packs. 
So that's really good. I've always got my napkin holder there on the table. Ready. Uh, got some corn things just for yeah, healthy lunches and stuff. Got some milks marked down. Were they marked down or not? Actually, no, they weren't marked down. I was looking at milk that was marked down. That's just a stick of something else. Um, but I said the scarlet works out the same for us. These later ones are marked down. So, yeah, grab me three of those ones. And I also grabbed three skim milk. And oh, that's my loaf of bread over the back corner. Too. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, but yeah, that's all of my haul and I'm pretty impressed actually with how much I got and it only cost me $2.97 I want to say for all that, which I mean like I said my table is really quite full compared to what I had in the spud shed uh, earlier this morning. 